Okay, welcome back. So this is fifth edition of F2P to T4. So I just logged in. I'm going to clear out a few things here. Okay, so currently I'm at player level 29 with almost at 30. Uh, 981 thousand might should be getting close to million soon and let's look at my RSS resource bags so I got about 40 million in food three eight and seven on others and I have two million in gold which is good news now I'm able to do a few things like forge equipment and whatnot so this since the last I upgraded this here from the parka and I've also upgraded the talon to purple and I got Shmitar to blue and I have bumblebee chaps or honeycomb chaps so it's coming along slowly but coming along now again this uh, is what I'm filming is I'm going from F2P to T4 and see how long it takes so how long have I been playing on this particular account 21 days now so it's it's going very slow compared to P2P account but we're just wanting to see cuz just to see cuz I have no idea how long it would actually take so as far as my researches go, I'm here. I should go ahead and do the siege since it's, oops. Okay, so this right here shows that I still haven't gotten my first purchase bonus, which tells that I am free to play. And still, I have not gotten any help from anybody, like as far as getting gifted or anything like that. So we're still on track. So I will go ahead and do the research there and right now I'm trying to go Castle 15 so that way I can still participate in Guildfest. Guildfest ends in two days. So if I can get it and maybe add some points maybe we can uh, bring it up to another tier. So for me to do that I need to upgrade this uh, trading post because the trading post is required for me to go to 15 so I gotta bring trading post all the way to 14 so let's see I got 10, go ahead and do that upgrade yep and let me show you for the 15 I need trading post to 14 so Right now, we're doing trading post at what level? We're doing 11, so 12, 13, 14. Three more trading posts before I can upgrade castle to 15. And I still need time for that. So I may need to maybe use up my precious gems that I've been saving the entire time. I have 12K now, ooh, big player. I'm just going checking through checking everything going through my motions and I don't have anti or shield on because I don't really care to I can shelter all my troops still because I only have 46,000 and I've been making them steadily I mean I know I can't check in every couple of hours just to restart this or whatever but I have been making them and I don't have a lot of T1s. T1s have kind of died off along with the skirmishes so I don't have a lot of T1s and I don't plan on making a lot of T1s so that way when I open up phalanxes I can have three different phalanx to counter incoming attacks so I will be focusing on T2s and as far as the T3s go when I open up 
C17. I'm probably going to max them out at 200k each on T3s just so that later down the road I don't feel bad about having way too many T3s because T3s later down the road can be detrimental to the um, T4 accounts, especially when taking on rally. So uh, the best combo at this time is T2 and T4 combo. But you do need sprinkle of T3s and T1s just so you can play Lord's Ball or things like that. Or when somebody's sending in, sending pirates attacks, you want T1s to be able to absorb those because you don't want to lose T2s or T3s, T4s for from pirates attacks. Okay, so... Other restores buildings or other buildings I have not upgraded, so my main focus has been taking this to C15. So once I get to C15, I'm still probably not going to level them out. I'm going to focus on getting them to C17. Now, one thing I am not focused on, another thing is Battle Hall and my prison or altar because those are buildings that take gems and I'm reason why I'm saving all these gems right now is when I get to C17 I want to unlock this treasure trove and throw in 10k in there so in 30 days I can get return and that's probably the best way to get return on your gems and you know you obviously want to keep up with Coliseum but with the lineup that I have currently it's getting better but uh, because I'm not I'm only at level 29 because what I'm not doing is this turf quest on the left I could cash them in and get experience and get leveled up but the thing is they add mites and it's 25 here but as you keep doing it like some of my accounts got like 15 million mites added from quest mites which is basically empty mite that doesn't really help you to fight or anything just makes you look bloated as shit so that's not what I'm trying to do and here as well I'm probably gonna focus on Aquarius and not the other ones and once I get C15, C17 my research will probably switch from from military and economy to more familiar see right now i'm focused on military i'm only still at level 654 it's in no condition to be fighting out there same thing with economy i'm working on them as we go and i'm trying to get them because in order for anybody who hasn't opened the t4 yet you have to have economy all the way to 10 except this gem harvesting in order for you to open up the last research right before T4, which is your Army Offense 1 level 10. For you to open up level 10, which is last research before you actually open up T4s, you have to have all the economies done. <laughs> okay, defense wise, nothing there. Uh, Monster Hunt, I don't really have time for it yet, and I haven't decided whether I want to max this or not, just because I'm trying to make a T4 count quickest way possible, so I don't want to waste any other time on that, and it's potentially because I don't want to add might from that particular research as well, because I want, I want a very light T4 account, I've seen 85 million T4 accounts with very little amount of T4s, but it's doable. You can open up T4s under 85 million. And it's very surprising to people, but it it happens. So here as well, nothing really. But next uh, research I'm going to focus on is probably familiar. I can't do any research here because I'm not C15 yet, and which means I'm not Academy 15. So once I get that, I will try to go as quickly as possible to pack three which gives me certain familiars that can add attacks for attack stats okay now you see me clicking on these buildings and do you know starting new whatever um, 
researches and builds without even changing my gear is because I don't have any gear at level 29. Only gear that, see 35 is the first one here, only gear that I'm able to put on are these from the voyages because they're level 1 and they do help. So, no, I'm not just randomly just choosing anything or whatever. So, okay, so I will get this started right now. I'm focused on 1B because of Aquarius right here. Okay. So I will do that and spend some my precious resources, which something I've never felt before as a P2P player. You don't worry about resources unless you're growing like way too fast. But you know, I, with every purchase of packs, you usually get resources. So still, I'm not really worried about it but here definitely I mean I'm down I'm at like a few million of each so it's, it's definitely taking time and 1b let's see so it looks like I got gnome that's another familiar that I'm actually trying to upgrade as well because of its range attack and range attack can definitely come in handy later so these two are ones that I will only work on from this particular pack uh, eventually maybe all of them but I haven't decided yet but the ones that I, I know I'm gonna do for sure are the ones that I'm gonna focus on first okay so let's see uh, gifts I've already cleared out before I even logged on and just like what you just saw yes I was lucky enough to join a guild and initially we were not but the R5 and the R4s, they actually know their shit pretty well here. So they were able to build up and actually got the base. And they, they could have taken all the force as well too, I believe. But with the help of Alliance and whatever, we were able to beat out the Chinese guild here. So yes, that's definitely beneficial. And yes, these stats will show up on your individual stats so don't overestimate yourself because as soon as those go your stats goes as well so here notice cav attack is huge compared to other just like cav hp is same thing or cav defense that's because we have those forts so as soon as in few hours all of that will disappear or go down 20 by 20 percent on my side Okay, what else we got? Uh, Colosseum, you saw, but um, just recently, in fact, just this morning, I opened up Slayer. So now, or Demon Slayer. So Colosseum's gonna get a little bit better, I believe. And like most people, I they already have Rose Knight, I do not. Just because Rose Knight does not come until six rate or stage six twelve, which I haven't reached. I'm only at like stage four or something. And that's again because my player level's low that I can't really I mean, you know, with good combos and whatever, it still can't beat certain stages no matter what. Um now so what I'll do is I usually do something I'll sweep something just to get them colored up until I can actually get them to another rank or another level. So right now I will focus on Demon Slayer coloring him up because he's obviously a must for any player. Okay. Let me see what it takes to get to rank 5. It's going to take level 34, 35. So level 35 before I can get to rank 5. Now, of course, if I were to turn in all my quests, I could probably get to level 35 easy. But, again, unnecessary might added. So I will not be doing that. Now I got that done. Let's look at outside. Same thing with monster. It's 
because of my low research on the monster hunting, I usually, you're supposed to hunt one hit at a time. But because of my low research, it doesn't really do any additional by doing that. And I will pick on a monster close by because it's so slow. It's so let me go after this Grim Reaper. And yes, it's kind of crappy, but I have to hit. Let me see. I'm trying to get three hits off of it. Oops. Oh, wow. Can I not? Maybe not. Yes, barely. Okay. So we can do three hits. And for, for this guy, okay. Just the general rule of thumb is if you click on the info tab, you'll see what type of monster it is. This one is magic. And if you read it, weak against Grim Reaper will harvest the soul, yada yada. Use your skill to deal physical damage to before it can claim more victims. So you want physical heroes. So I would go, and I know because I read up on these heroes, I know what they, what types they are, and I would click on these four are physical for sure, and I believe maybe this one, but they're not the best set right here. But I will use them because that's all I got. And of course, stay active on monster hunting because it is definitely it puts on your exp potentially with this hit i can maybe move up to level 30 as well so yes definitely stay active on don't let your energy go to waste that's just cheating yourself and your guild at one point jeez that sucked okay so you see how i'm down to about five thousand now so I'm going to unload all my energy again, trying to get that, and hopefully move up to level 30 and we can. Now, one thing I'm vulnerable to, see, it's 73,000 gold here. I have that open, and I am vulnerable to losing all of that for from an attack. If... An attack comes in because at that level your gold is not protected even though your other RSS are protected your gold is not so your gold won't be protected until you get to level 25 and you have to get one of your buildings in there which is your storage building that to level 25 for you to get uh, gold protection but I'm hoping okay with this hit maybe level 30 here there you go so we got level 30. Yay, great. So with that, when you level up, you obviously get one of these as well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and up my research. So that's about it, guys. I mean, that's where it stands. I'm still right under 1 million, but I'm getting close. We do have a while coming up this afternoon, I think. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get online in four hours to do it, but that's uh, what's coming up. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And again, uh, this new guild that I'm in, I've been with them since the beginning and good people. I think if you're in the kingdom or you're a fast grower, talk to the R5 and uh, maybe get yourself in here. But thanks. See you guys next time.